Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. It's the 1st of June and time for Shutterbug AU, my six month make along. It is our second last photo in the make along. Our last photo will be shown on the 15th of June and I can't wait to see all the projects finished. May in review, lots of lovely bright colours used, some interesting projects. I love the bird key rings done by Lynette, the Charm Grammy, and the steering wheel cover by Trish, the Knitting Lady. I thought that was a bit unique. It got me thinking. I have an umbrella that I love that's getting a lot of use at the moment, but the handle has gone quite tacky and sticky, and I thought maybe I should make a cover for that because I love the umbrella. It's just the handle that's funny. Anyway, the participant prize draw for May will be as normal at the end of the video. One participant will love, win and love, hopefully, a $25 gift voucher or will come to some arrangement. Our numbers are well and truly back up there. We're almost back to where we started, so that's great. I'll let you know how many names on the wheel. June the 1st, the picture. Well, it was inspired by Eurovision 2024. I've had my rant about Eurovision 2024. I wasn't happy, no more. But it got me thinking, Eurovision 2024 was held in Sweden and that happened to be the 50th anniversary of when ABBA won it in Brighton in the UK. ABBA won it with Waterloo, their song, and they went on to worldwide success. They're huge in Australia. Thing's a big fan. I'm a fan, but he's a huge fan. And yes, it got me thinking about that because I've been to Sweden twice, once with Thing and once without Thing. On the trip without him, I did a few different things on the bucket list I wouldn't normally do. I'm not much of a drinker, but I did go to an ice spa and drink vodka out of ice made glasses. That was a lot of fun. I went on a ice sled ride. Now, the sleds took three people and there were two ladies partners on their own looking for a third person, but they couldn't get anyone to join them. The tickets were a little exy, but I put my hand up and said, I'll do it with you. I don't mind. I think it'd be fun. I'm not a thrill seeker, so let's hope it's not too scary. But lo and behold, I was the shortest and they put me in the front of the sled of the guys that organised it. And it was pretty thrill-seeking. I'm not sure I'd do it again, but it was fun. And it made the ladies' day to be able to do something on their bucket list. High on my bucket list was to visit the ABBA Museum. I really wanted to go and see it. It is amazing. If you have the opportunity, please go and see it. So much on display, their costumes, their records. And it's all audio guided, which is really great. You can spend hours there. I went on an organized tour. And one of the memories from that tour is we're on the bus and our host said, the ABBA Museum doesn't take cash, only credit cards or cards. And this is long before tap and go. I don't think anyone had thought about it. And that was my first experience of a cashless society. So yes, I had a lot of fun at the ABBA Museum. The other thing, reason it was inspired, I've been cleaning through things I've got and I found this. Look at this. It's from the ABBA Museum when I went. It is Chiquita, the song on a bag. It still even has the labels on it. So maybe I should give this away or keep it. Let me know in the comments what you think. I really do, um, I really did enjoy the trip. I'm just surprised I forgot all about this and that I hadn't used it or given it away. So the photo. Well, first of all, I'll give you a bit of information about the museum. Benny's piano, a self-playing piano, which is linked to Benny's own piano in his home. So when he plays his piano, so does the one at the museum. Waterloo, a section made to look like Brighton at the time of the 1974 Eurovision Song Contest, has a collection of many items from the fateful event. The Polar Studio, a recreation of the studio, studio in which ABBA recorded most of their later music. 
many items used in the studio are, on, uh, are visible. The Folk Park, a recreation of the site where Abba first met. Audio guides. The audio guides are amazing. You really need those. That's why you can spend so much time. They're written by Katherine Johnson. She's a screenwriter, playwright for Mamma Mia. And Ring Ring, a special phone that only the four ABBA mem members of ABBA know the number to. Which brings me to the photo. What photo do you think I picked from my collection of photos from the museum? Not the Waterloo. I picked, and um, I hope you can see it in this light, Ring Ring. That's a little section where I took this photo. It was just so interesting and it was one of the smaller sections. I really like the palette that came up with it. I think it's really great. And way back, it sort of represents their era of pop music. So this photo will be at the end of the video for you to check out the palette. If I can find other photos, I'll put them at the end too. So in the palette, there's lots of red and oranges and purple tones. And I'm also going to put a music playlist. I'll put Waterloo. If you've finished your projects and you just want to make a little one, check out the music video Waterloo and see Agnetha's Beanie. I've made heaps of those over the years. I made one last year for a young girl who was going to fancy dress as her and she wanted a beanie. So yeah, make an ABBA beanie. Also, of course, on the playlist will be Ring Ring. I challenge you to see if you cannot tap your foot to the pop music of ABBA. It really is very catching. Now, just for laughs, and this really is just for laughs, I've been watching Mad Mimi, Laura at Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming, open her eggs for National Egg Month. And when I saw this video from Eurovision, I cracked up and it reminded me of her because I always have a laugh watching her egg openings. It's just, it's really a great um, reliever on my lunch hour when I'm at work. It's downtime for my brain. It's also a good way to start the morning when I'm leaving for work. Um, so yeah, I've really enjoyed her videos, so make sure you check them out. So I've put a song on the playlist from Eurovision 2024. He's called Windows 95 Man. Before you watch it, warning, he is not nude on the bottom half. He just looks it. He's actually wearing a flesh gel coloured G-string and they filmed it to make it look like he's nude. And it is funny. Now this guy when chosen to represent his country. They have these country song of playoffs and they have a judge's vote and a public vote. Now he got no judge's votes, but he won the opportunity to represent his country because the public vote went nuts. It was huge. They all found the humor in it. And that's what Eurovision is for me. Fun, humor, lots of color, lots of promotion of the LBGTQ community hopefully I didn't miss one it's just really great and let's remember June is pride month so it's an opportunity just to enjoy some music while you're finishing your projects and to relax so remember to quote Jean-Paul Frederick Richter music is the moonlight in the gloomy night of life and quite a few of my Yanni friends are suffering a bit of gloom at the moment so hopefully the music will put some bright light in their life. Now, I'm looking forward to seeing all the um, projects finished, especially the shell bugs or cuddle bugs. This is the fourth bump of mine. I added some apricot. I'll put all the bumps together and then I have to work on his face, which is quite detailed. He's going to be really big. It's a lot bigger than I anticipated but it's been fun to make. I've also been making squares using the color palettes for hip to be square. And hopefully when I have enough squares for lap gown, I'll put all those together. So guys, enjoy your second last photo for Shutterbug AU. Have fun, be kind. Remember, hate begets hate. Bye for Welcome now. Welcome to May's participant prize draw for the Make Along Shutterbug AU. There are 16 names on the wheel. Good luck, everyone.
there we have it janice f janice if you could contact me we can organize a 25 dollars gift voucher or come to some arrangement congratulations janet make sure everyone congratulates janet she's been participating all every month twice a month she's been doing a great job along with a lot of other people so thanks again folks and i hope to see you all back on the 15th of june bye for now Thank you.